Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday. Seb is back at work. I know some places are closed today as like a holiday, Easter Monday, but I think the schools are closed, but I think all the like stores are open and then people with that work at like smaller companies, I believe, or just like one-off businesses, they get to, they get to decide if they're closed or not. And Seb's work decided to work. So I was like, bye. Um, we already, hi. We already went to Walmart this morning while Seb was getting ready for work because I did a mom fail yesterday and realized that she was very, very, very low on formula. But luckily we made it and now we have some formula to put in her baby Brisa. We went to a shoppers, the only shoppers in London, Ontario that was open. We drove there and it was so busy, first of all, because it was the only store open and everything was like gone like their shops were basically empty there was no formula there was no baby food there was Seb wanted a bag of ruffle chips there was no chips <laughs> like I was like wow <laughs> okay we have Gemma here she is <laughs> just hanging out <laughs> hey oh look at the baby squirrel is that a baby or just like the way he's positioned? Oh, okay. We're just hanging out. Yeah, I am going to make a coffee and then I'm going to make Gemma's breakfast. I have some frozen blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. It's just like a frozen bag of fruit. They are getting nice and thawed and soft to add to her oatmeal this morning. And she's just gonna hang out. Mommy needs a coffee. We have these like little pre-made formulas that I had out ready to give to her. We did, or I did end up giving her one just because I already opened it before I went to the store for Seb. But yeah, that's how low we were. We could obviously make bottles out of it, but you're supposed to keep the, um, the formula up to the minimum line here. So... I don't know if you can see, but I'm just gonna fill this back up. Oh, I always forget to scoop. her oatmeal with like two ounces or three ounces of formula just for some extra nutrition and then I'll just add a little bit at a time for some flavor so it's not just plain oatmeal and that's what it will look like it will stain everything that it touches, so I like to strip her down. And I'm not about to have my child on YouTube naked, so I will I will check back in later after she's done making a mess. I like to let her feed herself as much as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. It honestly all depends on what she's eating, but I try to let her feed herself, so. I'm going to let her try and feed herself, but she needs to be stripped down from head to toe because she's going to make a mess. I got ready for the day. Well, all I did was my makeup. Now I'm just going to do my hair. I think I might just even leave it in like a messy clip like I just had it because it's still got some wave to it from when I crimped it Saturday. Yeah, crimped it on Saturday. So... It's not that greasy either, so maybe I'll spray some dry shampoo, but I am excited for today because <clears throat> I've been wanting somewhere to do, like, my hair and makeup. Like, I stand here and do my make or my hair because there's a plug and then I have, um my hot tools here and then I set up a mirror and that's where I usually do my hair and then my makeup I'm either sitting in front of the mirror I'm either in the bathroom I'm at the dining table right now I just did it at the coffee table because I was watching a show 
But today I'm picking up a vanity. I wasn't going to buy a vanity and like focus on this room until I finished doing the living room because I want to switch some stuff up in there too. So I was like, oh, let me just like do that first and then I'll start doing the master bedroom. But I just for some reason I was sitting on the couch last night and I was like, hmm, I wonder what's on Facebook Marketplace. I love Facebook Marketplace. And I opened it and this vanity and chair came up for 80 bucks and it was the exact vanity I was looking for. The chair, I'm not like, oh, it's a nice chair, but like it'll do until I can find the right chair. But I was like, I can't like, I can't say no to that. It's literally the table I want. It's, it matches the like little drawer. I don't know if I'm pointing at it, but like the white drawer set here because I'm still keeping that drawer set. I'm just going to put it beside the table and like, it's literally everything I wanted. So I messaged her and I was like, Hey, can I pick this up tomorrow? And then she's like, yep, here's the address. And I was like, okay, I'll wait till my daughter is up from her nap. <clears throat> I like have something in my throat like all morning and she messaged me back like half an hour later and was like hey I'm just like making sure that you're coming today because I have a lot of interest on the house and I knew she would because it was oh God. because it's an Ikea desk which are really popular and is a really good price so I knew she was gonna get a lot of interest and I was like no like please save it for me I'm a thousand percent coming so she's like okay I'll save it for you so she did thank goodness some people would be like well this person wants to come pick it up right now so like you know it's either right now or I'm gonna give the table away but she she was really nice and she saved it for me and she didn't ask for any money I usually don't like to um e-transfer people for pro like for furniture before I see it because there's so many scams on Facebook marketplace that will be like oh if you want me to hold it you have to send this and then they'll give you like a fake address and well I mean it's never happened to me but you can kind of just tell when you're on Facebook marketplace like who's sketchy so I have no idea what this looks like so I didn't send her any money and luckily she didn't ask me for any money because I would have been like no like I'm sorry <laughs> but I mean it would have been maybe I would have sent her like half and then half today but yeah there is like a small crack in the front but honestly I'm not even worried about it you're not gonna be able to tell I don't think and yeah I'm just excited to have like a place to sit and like journal which I used to do at my vanity and like do my hair and my makeup and like my space me space seb has his space in the garage the basement his computer desk and that's that's his space my space is nowhere <laughs> like yeah so <clears throat> oh my god my freaking throat so i'm really excited to get a place to just call my own and like decorate it and make it look really cute I'm trying to tuck my ears in because I have massive ears, but I always want to like do this. So it's like, I gotta find, <laughs> like, I like them in the front, but sometimes I like them like this. So it's like, whatever, that'll do for now. Doesn't have to look perfect. And then I have to go grocery shopping. So I'm going to pick up the desk and then go grocery shopping. We literally have like nothing for groceries. So this is going to be a, I don't think it's going to be a huge grocery shop, but it's just gonna be a lot of like essentials. I'm going to make my bagel before we leave to go pick up the table. I just thawed it in the microwave and yeah, I'm just going to eat it on the way there. Let my teeth, um, I just brushed my teeth so it tastes really gross. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like I'm ready to go. I should probably make her, oh, we're going grocery shopping. So it's going to be a while. So I should probably make her at least like two bottles to go. I can make her 
two four ounce bottles to go, but I'm also going to bring some of those pre-made formula bottles just in case she's hungrier than that. Let's load this dishwasher. So nice having a dishwasher. Like I told Seb, I was like, I will never live without a dishwasher now. It is so nice just like loading her up and starting her. I literally thought I was recording the entire time. I'm pretty sure I talked for like six, seven minutes and it wasn't even recording, so let's try that again. We are back, Gemma's finally sleeping. She was up for two and a half hours, which is like a record for her. So she, I gave her a little bit of a bottle and she passed right out. So hopefully she sleeps for a little bit longer than normal so I can get some things done. I was able to put groceries away because I just gave her her favorite toy, gave her her favorite snack, keep her busy, keep her up longer, which means hopefully a longer nap. and. And then I finally was able to put her down, but yeah, we're home. I have some things to do, but first I wanted to show you this really pretty pottery espresso cup that I got from my neighbor. I love supporting small businesses, neighbors, friends. I love handmade pottery. Like this is incredible that she made this by hand. I have so many things from her, like her small business. I have, sorry, Seb, put the one that says wrong, away wrong. I have two of these cups, which you've probably seen before. I've had them for like two years. I love the speckled. And we have two of these. We have two speckled bowls as well, which are really nice. We have two, it's hard to see, but two drinking glasses with bicycles. Those are summer cups. She does pottery, like, what you, I guess it would be like a pottery market. Like, a bunch of people that make pottery come together and sell pottery two, three times a year, which is coming up if you're interested. It's, I think it's like Clayworks Pottery Market, and it's at the Thames Valley School Board, I believe. We've been there a couple times, but I honestly don't remember what building so the end of April and there's a bunch of people that come together and sell pottery and it's going to be like the spring and summer collection which is going to be absolutely beautiful like colorful and flowers which I really want to find a really cute like flower mug. I have so many mugs but that's like one thing that just doesn't match in my house like all my plates match all my forks match like all that stuff but mugs I love being fun and creative with mugs so I'm on a hunt for a really cute mug like summer mug that I can use and I did end up going to get the desk which I'm really really excited for I'm going to ask Seb to put something under this shelf to raise it like legs or like a piece of wood or something so then that way this is flush and I can use this for a prepping station as well it just makes the desk a little bit bigger I'm going to just take this plastic thing off and put something here to hide this hole I 
plan on putting up a mirror, which I was talking about switching out the chair eventually. But the reason why I was looking for this specific desk is because I can put all of my makeup in here and then this can be, I mean, this is only, this is my only makeup drawer, which my makeup bag, ooh, this is, I need to wash that, which my makeup bag, I believe is on the coffee table right now because I did my makeup out there, but I could do like little containers of my makeup. And then have this drawer open for like more hair product or I don't know. I need to organize these drawers really bad. But I really like it. I just want the drawers to match. And then a new chair. And I feel like that can be like my little space. I switched the room around a little bit. The weights were over here. And I just kind of made it. All of this stuff like this. I'm painting this wall so that's why that's there. And I should do that this week sometime. Tulips I'm going to play in the garden. That usually goes on the dining table, but there's something else. So, like, none of this is usually here. So, if you can just picture it. I kind of want to get, like, a circle rug or something. Or even, like, a... Maybe, like, a rectangular rug. I don't know. Something to make it feel a little bit more homey and welcoming and warm. We are out for a walk. It's so unbelievably nice outside. I would be in a t-shirt, but I wore a sweater. <laughs> My lips are so dry, so like sunny it is. They just like dried right up. Gemma is having her little snack while she's hanging out. She is getting um, a little fussy. I think she's tired. I think she woke up way too early from her nap. So she only slept for like 35 minutes. I was hoping she'd sleep longer. Like I was saying earlier, but nope, it was a 35 minute quick nap. So we live by a Jiffy loop and it's busy. <laughs> There's so many cars waiting to get their winners off. And I'm like, yeah, it's perfect time to get your winners off. I don't think we're gonna get any more snow, but who knows? Canada is unpredictable, but there's little Willie. Good morning. I'm already ready for the day. I filmed a TikTok, so, well, I'm still wearing jammy pants, but here up is ready for the day. Um, but I am going to make some chia seed pudding for lunch because it's already almost 10 o'clock and I'm not waiting two more hours to eat breakfast, so I'll probably just have something else for breakfast, breakfast and then chia seed pudding for lunch because I love my chia seed pudding. I'm in a chia seed pudding era. So good for you, really high protein, and I'll probably just have it for lunch. So I'm gonna do that, but we're gonna talk as I do that. So one second. I forgot to run the dishwasher last night. I forgot to run the dishwasher last night, so my usual chia seed pudding container is in the dishwasher. It's running, so I'm just going to use this one, which will work. I probably won't be able to add all my toppings because it's too small, but I can just transfer it into a bowl. It's fine. We have a dishwasher now, so I don't need to worry about... Oh, I don't want to make that because I know I have to do dishes. A couple vlogs ago which isn't even uploaded I have to do that today I have two vlogs to edit and upload and then now this one so I have three vlogs. hopefully you guys are enjoying the content because it's a lot but oh Gemma's awake which is good because I was just gonna say we have to run to Metro this morning because a couple vlogs ago, I mentioned that we got a Too Good To Go box. It's like an app that you can get and there's a bunch of stores and restaurants and like around the area, mostly Tim Hortons, but there's some good hidden ones like Metro and all the stuff that's about to go bad, they'll put it on a huge discount and then you can reserve, you know, your stuff <laughs> but i tried three times in the past to get uh too good to go metro meat box but every time i bought one they would be like hey we're gonna refund you because there's not enough meat to like dispute to everybody because i think they do like two or three and i was like hey cool whatever so they canceled three times and then last night i was like okay i'm gonna try again because like there was a bunch of holidays there was you know um 
Easter, so like people weren't probably buying other meat, they were probably buying turkey, I don't know. But anyways, that was my thought process and we're good to go. We can pick it up after 10 a.m. today. They, <clears throat> it's like meat that has the best before date is today. So that means that it's still technically good and I can throw it in the freezer so it lasts longer. So I'm excited to see what we get. We're gonna do that today. After Jenna wakes up, we're gonna go for a little drive, go to Metro. These actually came from Too Good To Go Box from Tim Hortons. It had like four or five bagels and donuts and Timbits and stuff like that. This is the leftover that we have. I think there's like a donut and a half left, which we could probably just, oh no, this. Okay, you don't count the plane because the plane's disgusting. That's Wilson's plane. But it's definitely time to pull them out. But it's donuts that I believe were baked in the morning and then they're not as fresh anymore so they don't sell it because it's pick up after 4 p.m. That's my guess. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that one. But the bagels are amazing because you can just throw them in the freezer. You can throw the donuts in the freezer. But which one do I want? I don't even know what this one is. I'm not sure what this one is, but we're gonna have this one. Tosta? I want to go to Once Upon a Child. I was actually gonna go tomorrow because I, I wanna go visit my mom tomorrow and she kinda lives, she kinda lives close to Once Upon a Child, I think, like, I mean, probably the same distance from like my mom's to here but I was gonna go tomorrow and then go visit my mom just something to do I like to try I've been trying to get out of the house every day instead of just being stuck in here which I don't know I think I'm gonna go today instead because all I'm doing is literally going like two minutes down the road picking up meat and then coming back so I think what I'm gonna do is go pick up the meat come back home throw it in the freezer or fridge, wherever it needs to go, and then go to Once Upon a Child because she's already gonna be in the car seat and I don't really feel like going through all of that work getting her ready just to go two minutes down the street, two minutes back, you know what I mean? So I might as well stay out for a little bit, make her a bottle to go and stuff. And that way tomorrow when we go visit my mom, she'll be like we can go right when she wakes up so then she'll actually be awake for the visit i'm just worried that she is going to be tired by the time we get to my mom's and she's just gonna sleep but my mom's not gonna be able to really hang out with her i ended up going to metro to get um the meat bag for 12.99 i'll show you what i got quickly before i go and put it in the freezer it's already comes frozen which is really nice but I got four packs of these mild Italian sausages, which is perfectly fine because Seb and I actually really like sausages with rice and a veggie. We had that last night. And yeah, so we got four packs of these and then it came with mild Italian pork sausage meat. So it's like, just like ground meat. Like, I guess this would be really good in, mm, I have no idea. Pork sausage ground meat. Like, what do I do with that? That'll be kind of fun to experiment with. And then we got a fine herb pork sterloin roast, which I know Seb will be really excited. He likes to put that on a, the smoker. And then we got more sausages. <laughs> we got mild Italian sausages with veggies. So this was uh, 15 24 so i am already made my money back. So that's really cool. And this one's good for the barbecue. You just throw this on the barbecue and you got a veggie and uh, sausage and then you just make like maybe a baked potato or something and that's a meal so I'm pretty happy with it I mean it would have been kind of cool to get more than just sausages <laughs> but I mean at least it's a meat that Seb and I like and it's not like a random meat that we've um we don't like or I mean it'd be kind of cool to get something that we've never tried but yeah, for $12.99, it's really cool. If you want to check it out, it's not, this is not sponsored. But like, too good to go. It's an app. It's like a little green triangle. And I know in London, we have quite a bit of stores. But for example, we went to my dad's in Chatham and we looked and there was nothing in Chatham. So I think it's just, 
it's just starting to become popular here in Canada. I know the US has been doing it for a while, but so yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. I'm going to run that in and quickly put this in the freezer and then we're gonna head to Once Upon, Once Upon a Child and try to find some outfits for Miss Gemma because she needs clothes. So let's go shopping together. Actually, you know what? that's a lie I'm going to show you what I get in once upon a time when we get home but I really want to make a TikTok out of this so if you want to see the shopping experience go look on my TikTok but I will show you at the end of this at the end of it at home I'll show you guys what we got and hopefully we find some goodies for a good price because I love to save money where I can and honestly like I was saying earlier she grows so fast she's probably going to be in six to nine months for like three months and then it's like okay on to the next size so let's see what we can find we have made it back to the house as soon as we pulled into the driveway Gemma decided she wanted to take a little nap so now I'm just sitting here debating if I want to try and carry her inside because she was really cranky when we were shopping so our shopping got cut short and now we're just chilling in the driveway but i'm starving i haven't eaten lunch my chia seed pudding is calling my name so i think i'm gonna try and bring her in and hopefully she just doesn't wake up sometimes she'll stay asleep in her car seat sometimes she doesn't but she was so cranky i just don't like i just don't want to risk that you know <sighs> I think I'm going to try and bring it in because I need some food. But shopping was successful. I loved it so much. I'm addicted to that store now. Once upon a time, once upon a, once upon a child in London. I went to the one by White Oaks, if you're familiar with London area. Is that White Oaks? Yeah, it's White Oaks. I'm not sure how many there is in London. Maybe it's only one. I have no idea. But I'll show you what I got when I get back inside after I eat food. If she doesn't wake up. You know, it's just... You ca I just kind of go with the flow. As soon as I brought her inside, she woke up. So I took her out of her car seat and ended up making her some lunch. So I could eat my lunch. I had chia seed pudding and Gemma, I gr blended up some green peas and carrots and then gave her some mashed up raspberries. She really liked the, the raspberries. She really likes this too, honestly. She is not a picky eater so far she will eat whatever i give her so far <laughs> i have all this leftover carrot and peas so that can go in the fridge those raspberries can go in the fridge this can go in there i'm just trying to tidy up a little bit because it's pretty messy i'm gonna wait for sam to unload the dishwasher because i just don't want to do it he loves unloading the dishwasher so i'm like go for it i'll load it you unload it but the sink's looking a little full. So hopefully he does that when he gets home. I think she's gonna go back down soon because she didn't sleep long at all. Yeah, are you ready? I told the cashier, I was like, your store is so like clean and organized. It, it's color coded. So if you find a pair of pants that you like, you go to the section of color of shirt you need, which was so helpful that it was color coded. I spent $20, just like just over $20. I wanted to buy outfits, like two piece outfits versus just random pants and shirts and then come home and put outfits together. So I was in the store trying to, like if I found a pair of pants that I liked, I'd try and find a shirt to match. If I found a shirt liked it, I'd, you know, you get the point. So I'll show you the outfits that I put together. This one is one and this one's two. The only thing is that you could switch these shirts, which is nice. So it's like three different outfits. And I really like the cute spring vibe, like the flowers and the hearts. I really like that. This one already came as an outfit, which was really helpful. It was $5.50. And then these were $1.50 each. So this is a $3 outfit. This is a $3 outfit. And this is $5.50. So it's not worth buying the outfits that are already put together. It's cheaper to put your own outfits together. And then... 
I found this really cute jean dress. I could not, could not not get this, <laughs> but I'll probably get like a, or I have a long sleeve shirt for her and like some tights just because it's not quite spring yet or summer yet. So this might be a little too chilly to wear. I'm going to switch the laundry over and then lay down because she's napping and this is my time to lay down. I'm also going to take my hair out because it's been up for a while and my head's starting to hurt. I don't know if it's because I was hungry and I just ate. So it's like my head was starting to hurt because I was hungry or my head it hurts because my hair's up or like my contacts are dry. I don't know. I never know. I get headaches quite often though. So, oh my gosh, that already feels so good. Mm, it was definitely my hair. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. But I am still going to take my contacts out and just relax, probably until Seb gets home. And then tonight we can do a little hanging out sesh later. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I need to lay down. I'll catch you later. Seb came home early from work, so I'm taking this opportunity to take a bath. You can probably hear the water running. I'm going to take a glass of wine in there and just probably scroll on my phone to be honest or watch youtube i have like the bath caddy i love it but i'm going to end the vlog here because i'm pretty sure this is going to be a quite long vlog so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next